Welcome to NorCal Sports TV and our broadcast of Fireball High School hosting Kalinga. We got a chance to catch up with Coach Kyle Yanogas with our sideline reporter, Connor McGill. Connor McGill coming to you live from Fireball High School, and I am joined with Fireball head coach Kyle Yanogas. You guys are 15 and 4 overall and 5 and 0 in the Western Sierra League coach. You guys come off a recent loss to Liberty 71 to 66. What can you learn from that loss going forward? Uh, we really need to work on boxing out. We're a small team in general, so we need to be a little more physical on the boards and kind of rebound as a team. And so we kind of struggle with that down the stretch with Liberty and that kind of costs us the game. Tonight you play a tough Kalinga team. Kalinga 10 and 11 overall and 4 and 1 in the Western Sierra League. You've already played them twice this season and you've been victorious in both of those games. What have you learned in those two games and do you plan to fix anything heading into this third matchup? Uh, we're trying to follow the same game plan as we have before. I'm assuming that Kalinga will kind of change theirs up because they're trying to you know, get that, that win over us. It's hard to beat a team three times because they've seen each other so many times. They know each other's sets, all those things. And so we're just hoping that we can kind of continue the success we had the first two times. Kalinga happens to be the three-time Western Sierra League champs. How can you really change things up here in the second half of the league? Uh, well, hopefully we can continue the you know our press system, trying to get them tired out, wear them down. You know, it's been a long season for both teams, and so we're hoping that we can kind of wear them down as the game goes on. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck in this one. Back to you, Coach I. Number one, senior Mario Alvarez. And Connor McGill also got a chance to meet up with Coach Jason McFarland of Kalinga. Carnival coming to you live from Fireball High School, and joining me is Kalinga head coach Jason McFarland. Jason, your team 10 and 11 overall and 4 and 1 in the Western Sierra League. Tonight you play a tough Fireball team. They're off to a hot start, 5 and 0 in league. You guys are the three-time defending Western Sierra League champs. How can you take this matchup into consideration of how important this is for your team? Well, my guys know what's at stake here. Um, we talk about owning the championship and it's not this group's championship until they own it so that's really kind of the mindset that we're taking you guys are coming off a two-point loss to Fowler you mentioned on Max Preps that I saw that you guys had a lot of team turnovers how do you decrease those turnovers heading into the long run just got to have guys play smart uh, make the right reads don't get ahead of themselves sometimes we play a little too aggressive on offense trying to make the big play hit the home run instead of just make take singles sometimes you just got to take singles and just move the ball and and it'll end up finding its way in the basket you played fireball twice you ended up losing with them within 10 or so points what's the game plan heading into tonight's game main thing take care of the ball um, I know my guys will play hard if we execute what we're what we're trying to do offensively um, you know get a shot each trip hit the offensive boards hard like I think we can um, control them defensively we should be fine Thanks, Coach. Best of luck in this one. Back to you, Coach I.
All right, we're ready to go, folks. We just had the national anthem and the starters for both ball teams. Coalinga Toads entered with a record of 10 and 11 overall, 4 and 1 in conference play against the first place 5 and 0 oh, Fireball Eagles, who come into this game with a 15 and 4 overall record. I am your commentator, retired coach Denny I, and we are getting ready to start this exciting basketball game here in Fireball, California. Central Valley basketball at its best. This is technically for all practical purposes, going to be for first place in the West Sierra League. If the Coalinga squad can pull off the victory, there would be a two-way tie for first. And Fireball wins, they'll be all alone at 6-0. Oh. Looks like man-to-man -man defense being installed by, no, it looks like they're going to a 2-3 zone. They went out, picked up the guards. There's penetration in the middle, nice kick. Wasn't able to get his feet ready to shoot it though. Floater no good and the Colina gets the rebound. Sideline out of bounds play. See if they do anything special or just try to get it in. Sometimes coaches will save their special plays for later on if they really need something. Let's just get the ball in and play. Edwin Ortiz looks like he's running the point. Three-pointer at the top of the key, and it's nothing but net for Chris Benitez. Colinga playing. Oh, that's a long three-pointer. Nice pass. Edwin Ortiz on the assist. Nice little dish off on that two on one fast break. You're playing on the road, that's how you want to start. Get out early. Another turnover. Stolen back, two on one. And it's good. Gustavio makes the basket. Baseline drive, nobody there to help. Chris Benitez on the bucket. A little soft, sort of a 2-2-1 two -two or 2-1-2 two -two press. No real pressure applied there. Fireball did a good job getting the ball in the middle. Another long three. Emmanuel Alniz not able to connect on that long three-pointer. Coach Jason McFarland calls a special play. Long pass, perfect pass. That guy gotta be the quarterback on the football squad. Nice pass, not able to get his feet under him though, so they bring it back out and set it up. Man-to-man -man defense being applied here by Fireball. Good help on the baseline if he decides to drive. Looks like it went off Orange's foot. It should be Fireball's ball. We weren't able to tell. We weren't able to tell who hit it. So. Referees a little bit uncertain. They looked at each other and decided to just keep it down at this end. High low post. Benita is assisting to Cosmopula. A little bit hurried on the shot. 
Coach called a special play every time down. This is the third play signals using hand signals. I like that. You get into a gymnasium where it's loud, you can't really call the plays out. So it has a verbal as well as a hand signal. Inside, no good. Oh, picks up the loose ball, though. Everything seems to be going Koalinga's way right now. They're going to reset. Fake the dribble up, handoff, and nobody there. What a play. Luis Castro. It's like we call a dribble up, handoff, where you go hand it off the guard. He usually uses the ball pick the middle, but Luis just kept on dribbling. The defense wasn't aware of it either. Got a wide open layup. Long three-pointer. Now I know why he shoots those threes. That gets the home crowd going. As George Barrera hits a long three. America's Plague bringing him through the gate. Ah, oh, illegal screen. Pretty good call. We call that America's Play where the shooter goes down along the baseline. Here comes the wide open three or the deep three. That's about the third or fourth one attempted. So obviously that's fireball strength. They're not going to go away from it. Token press. Just to waste a little time. There's another long one. Long shot, long rebound. Tried to penetrate the middle, lost the dribble a little bit, and went out of bounds. That's Joe Cardiel checking in for the Fireball Eagles. Just about a steal, but not able to get it. If you miss that steal, that's what happens. You give, us, give the team a wide open 15-footer, that's Damian Rochin who hit that one. And right now, Koalingas got to be feeling good about what's going on in this ball game. We'll see if things change. Obviously, it's just the first quarter, but that's how you want to start when you're playing a big ball game. Get out to an early lead and see if you can hold it. Saved out of bounds, but unfortunately got batted right back to him. So Moses Ayaya, Ayaya, he jumped up and saved it. Ball came back at him. Oh, that could be thrown away. There the press pays off. Nice bounce pass. Good passing. Baseline drive is blocked. A little quick on the trigger on that three-point shot. It looks like fireball really depends on the three, but I think they can get a better one than that. But you don't want to discourage a shooter from shooting. There's a, what they need. Not able to capitalize. Good steal, not able to make the layup. Looked like he tried to draw a foul. And the defender didn't follow him and it threw his shot off just a little. Two turnovers in a row for Koalinga. Fireball's getting what they want if they can get off a good shot. One hand rebound, bat it out. Got to grab that rebound to two hands. He's going to let it fly. And I can see why, there it is. That's what the fireball squad needed. Foul up with another turnover, if I'm not mistaken. That's about three turnovers. Here comes a deep three. And there it is, boom, nothing but net. 55 seconds to go in the first quarter. Koalinga started off really well, but they've turned it over the last three times. Allowing the fireball to get back into this ball game. Nice play. High, low. There's how you execute it. 
Nice assist by Michael Sandoval. There's the fourth turnover in a row. Behind the back. Oh, there we go. It really wasn't showtime. He just needed to do that. It was like a Euro step. And there's a fifth turnover in a row. And Colleen gets definitely looking forward to this quarter ending. 13 to 12 as things were going their way, but five turnovers in a row. And Fireball has answered the call. Nice bounce pass. There's how you want to finish the quarter if you're not if you're struggling. Pass off the dribble was not a good idea, and they stole it. A heave. It was on line, but about four feet short. There's the turnover, and here's the behind the back. It's like a Euro step behind the back for the bucket. We'll be right back after this word. quarter. Colinga jumped out early. Had a nice lead. 13 to 5, but they've had turnover problems since then. Fireball's gotten right back into this ball game, so it's going to be a nail biter all the way down to the finish. I don't think anybody's going to run away with this one. There's what we call America's play. Stuck behind the basket. Good no call by the official. But he took that baby back up. Jeremy Awesome, Pula went back up strong on that rebound. If you get a chance, we'll explain to you that, that, how that America's plays run. If you get a chance to rerun it on your uh, video. Oh, my goodness. There's what they're looking for. Miguel Cortez with the three. Nice, strong baseline drive. Luis Castro avoided the charge. High post man against his own is doing a really nice job of catching the ball, either going high, low, or swinging it. There he goes, kicking it out. Now slow, he'll dive, and there it is. That's how you run it. Throw to low post, high post, dive. Throw the high post, kick to the off wing, or throw high, low. Fireball's executing their offense. Oh, missed the steal. There's going to be a foul on that one. There's the high post. There's the kick. Low post. There's the dive. And there's the basket. And the ball goes into low post. They're basically running a, what they call high low with the baseline runner. The ball goes to the high post. He can look low. When the ball goes low, that middleman dives to the basket because usually the, the middleman in that zone gets occupied guarding that player that's running what we call short corner. He does not go to the deep corner. He goes about five, six feet out on each side of the paint or the lane area, the block, the box, whatever you want to call it. Free throws are good. Cashing in on the free throw line is Damian Rochin. Number five, Gustava. Castada is doing a great job in the middle of that zone. He catches the ball, swings it. Eventually, we're going to get a quick timeout here. Koalinga calls a 30-second timeout. It'll be a 30-second break. Meeting rooms on demand, looking for a meeting room available nights and weekends, but can't afford the pricey hotel meeting rooms with rates as low as $40 an hour and seating capacity up to 50. We provide incredible value for small businesses. 
locations in Arizona, California, Nevada, and now in Fresno on Sean Van S. all with 24-7 availability. Reach us at MeetingRoomsOnDemand.com and tell them you saw this ad on NorCal Sports TV for a 50% discount off your first rent. Ball. Cheerleaders out there doing a great job. Fans are into it. Big ball game. High school basketball. Nothing better than that. Off block rebound. Doesn't get the rim tip. No good. He grabs it again. Going to call a jump. Alternate possession. Ball goes to the Eagles. Very soft at 2-2-1 two, two, press. Just trying to use up a little bit of time. They haven't done any traps. They just show some token pressure. 1-3-1 one, one zone. The short corner zone offense. There's the skip pass. A little bit wild. Making him stay honest. Gustava shoots that one. Is not able to make it. He's been passing it every time he's caught it. Eventually he'll be able to turn. Here goes, here goes a version of America's play again. They're going to send a double screen. Ball pick. Well, the guard took off. He didn't have the rebound. You'll see that on the film. He came in and grabbed it on that one, though. On the first one, he was basket hanging. Miguel Cortez. He gets an offensive foul called against him as he attacked the rim. And that last shot taken by Colinga, he took off a little bit. Here he goes. Now he's going to drive. He's going to try to go around him. Not able to because there was two players there. Pretty good call. Multiple subs for the fireball squad. Four subs come in. Another turnover. Not handling that pressure very well. It's going to really come back to haunt them if they continue to throw that ball away. Colinga's got to do a better job of handling that rock. Got a new man at the high post. See if he passes as well as the last one did. There's the dive. He's a little bit too deep in the shortcut. Nice skip. You know he's going to let that one fly. A little bit short, but again, that's his game. He's not going to hesitate, and he shouldn't. Herrera let it fly. Power move. I'm going to get him over the back. It's good hustle, though. You got to get after that. Good rebound. Jeremy Casampula crashed the boards, but called for over the back. Not many fouls. Two fouls on each team so far. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get in the bonus. Have to have 17 fouls to get the one and one. Ball pick against the zone. Call for an illegal screen. It's a good idea to run that screen, but I don't know for sure if he lost his footing or why he fell, but they called the foul on Joel Ochoa. Oh, there's a special play, trying to make him pay the price. Oh, Ling is dominating the boards. He was off balance. The refs aren't going to give you that, even though it might have looked like he got fouled a little bit. You got to go back to feeding that high post. I'm never a big fan of that call. Get a hustle play. He doesn't quite have control of the ball, and he lands on the ground. They call him for travel. Here comes the steal. They're going to call him for travel. Uh, you know, I guess that's the correct call. He had to look like he had control of it. Once that hip hits the ground, that becomes your pivot foot, so you've changed your pivot foot. There's the high low. Oh, there he is. Try oh, yeah. You get a little excited on that. Colinga adjusted a little bit better on that one. Got in front of him. A little more pressure. They're face guarding the inbounds. Nice left-hand layup. Jake Birch. That's what you're supposed to do if a team presses you. Make them pay the price. Don't go soft against it. Attack it. Long three. Good rebound. 
Long shot, long rebound. It gives you time to get after it a little bit. Ah, that was a force. That'd been a good place to foul right there. They can fast break if they can get it out. They're going to get a foul on that one. And one! The Fireball fans love that one. Michael Sandoval on the receiving end of a nice three-quarter court pass. Power dribble on the left side. Here comes the pass up the court. Power dribble goes up and draws the body contact. Key on that is you cannot get stuck behind that backboard. Because that backboard will block your shot. You've got to stay far enough up from the baseline, which he did. Giving him a chance for a three-point play. Not able to capitalize, but keeping it right where they want. Only down four right now. Wide open 15-footer. On the attack. There, oh, got to break all the way to the ball. Good hustle from behind, though. Somebody went down. We're not sure what happened. He's up and at him. He's okay. Hit the floor. Floor's not very soft. Chris Benitez. Might have got his feet tangled up or something. Driving to the bucket, drawing the foul, is going to get two. Sometimes it's hard to teach young people that, but when he puts that ball on the floor, if you beat you, want to foul him right away. Right, right? Now. Don't wait till he shoots it. Because all it would be is being out of bounds play, but that's okay. It didn't hurt him because he missed the first free throw. He looks like he's in a little bit of pain. Chris Benitez, that is. He's kneeling at that free throw line. I don't know if it's because he's tired or when he hit the floor. Maybe a knee or something still stinging a little bit. Makes one out of two at the line. I'm watching him go down the floor. It looks like he's either tired or still a little bit of pain from hitting that hardwood. There's the gap. What are you going to do with it? All right. You're either going to go high, low, or you're going to penetrate the gaps of that zone. When you penetrate the gaps, if you can stop and kick it to a wide open player, you're going to get a lot of good shots. He just did one on the attack mode that time. Now, see, he got fouled before the shot went up, so it's taking it out of bounds. So you had to go, the corner man had to go too deep. You can't run, you can't run the short corner when you go that deep. We'll say that was an alley-oop. Oh, he threw the ball to the wrong player. I'm not sure what happened on that one. George Barrera, looks like he's a nice shooter. He needs to work on his passing a little bit. There's that high-low, but they're, they're doing a much better job of deeing that up. See, the, the man is supposed to go short corners, deep corner now, so the angle isn't there. Looks like George is looking at his teammate instead of reading the defense. Barrera, that is. He'll get that. He'll work on that. Nice little flare screen. Nobody on the boards because their best rebounder took the shot at the top of the key. There's a charge. He's there all night. The ref didn't call it. Let him go. So really nothing hurt. Now, he'd be a good, if you had a breakaway, you'd want to foul the guy before he could get it into the shot mode. A little bit sloppy right now. Better shoot it. Save the turnover. Nice box out. Great box out. Gustava. Gustata. Put a body on. Casapula. Box him out really well. Casapula's over there holding his right knee, going to the bench. If you've got a, just a floor burn or if you got it banged up a little bit. So you can see it's a soft 2-2-1 two, two, press. No pressure really applied. Off wing's going to be wide open. There's the attack. Not able to get it. Battling for the loose ball. Out of bounds. Let me see. Fireball's putting pressure on them. They're face guarding, making it difficult. There's the middleman. Nice job.
Well, we were lucky on that one. It was a hustle play, but Jeshua Gutierrez, it doesn't do any good for you to run down there and swat at a ball you're not going to be able to block. you got to get down there and rebound, buddy. Gutierrez just checked in. He's going to play last minute. He's out there fired up like he was going to block that shot, but he jumped up ended up running out of bounds. Don't try to block a shot you can't block. You're better off to get into rebound position because that attempt took him out of rebound position. Luckily for him and their, his teammates, the ball went out of bounds. He's going to let this one fly. There it is. Anybody at the boards? It's going to be knocked out of bounds. They're going to go for one shot. Coach is called one. Let's see if Fireball can uh, put a little pressure on them and not let them take that one shot. They're going to trap him when he comes across. Fireball can afford to be a little aggressive if they want because it would not be a shooting foul. Oh, he didn't listen to his coach. And now they're going to get a fast break. He's going to get a bucket out of this. No harm, no foul. Coach is a little upset about that three-pointer being taken in the corner, but he'll talk to him about it, but it didn't hurt him. Cole is fired up. They're coming in here trying to get this win to make it a two-way tie for first. It's a halftime score, 24 to 19. High school halftimes are 10 minutes. We'll keep the cameras on the cheer squad, and we'll come back with some official stats and stuff and be ready for the second half. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Meeting Rooms on Demand, a unique alternative to expensive hotel meeting rooms with a new location in Fresno on West Shaw. Straight 8 Sports, custom basketball uniforms. Stand up from the rest, why not? The official uniform provider of the 2019 All-NorCal Games. Go to www.straight8sports.com to learn more. And the 2019 All-NorCal Games, the largest all-star event on the West Coast, returns April 7, 2019. To Las Positas, Collins and Livermore, California. And Photo Press Sports, Photo Pro Sports, specializing in team and individual sports photography, www.photo-pros.com. And Simply Basketball. Follow Simply Basketball on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter for the best highlights Northern California has to offer. Check it out. it out 
They can get a foul on that one. And one! Nice left hand layup. I never that one though. On the first one, he was basket hanging. Miguel Cortez. He gets it off. High lower swinging it. There he goes, kicking it out. Now slow, he'll dive. And there it is. That's how you run it. Nice, strong baseline. Erica's plays run. If you get a chance to rerun it on your uh, video. Oh, my goodness. There's one. Stuck behind the basket. Good no call by the official. But he took that baby back. Nice bounce pass. There's how you want to finish the quarter if you're not. If you're. There's the fourth turnover in a row. Behind the back. Oh, there we go. Nice play, high, low, there's how you execute it. Down to two hands. He's gonna let it fly. And I can see why, there it is. Just about a steal, but not able to get it. If you miss that steal, that's what happens. On dribble and the defense wasn't aware of it either. Got a wide open layup, long three pointer. Now I know why he shoots those to reset. Fake the dribble rub handoff and nobody there. What a play. Baseline drive. Nobody there to help. Chris Benitez on stolen back. Two on one. And it's good. Nice pass. Edwin Ortiz looks like he's running the point. Three-pointer at the top of the key, and it's nothing. Get it out. They're going to get a foul on that one. And one! Nice left-hand layup. I never that one though. On the first one, he was basket hanging. Miguel Cortez. He gets it off. high lower, swinging it. There he goes, kicking it out. Now slow, he'll dive, and there it is. That's how you run it. Nice, strong baseline. Erica's plays run. If you get a chance to rerun it on your uh, video. Oh, my goodness. There's one. Stuck behind the basket. Good no call by the official. All right, we're going to go live here with the interview with Connor and head coach Kyle Yonogas here. So, Kyle and Connor, take it away. Connor, we're coming to you live at halftime. We're Fireball currently down on this one, 19 to 24. And joining me is Fireball head coach Kyle Yano Goss, your team trails in this one thus far. What is the plan going into the second half? We got to take care of the ball. We've been very lax days ago with our passes. Uh, same thing, not boxing out uh, and, and not being aggressive going to the basket. Kling is just beating us to the bucket. They're beating us to the ball. They're being more physical than us. So we got to we got to step that up. Kalinga has come out with a two three. How do you defend a two three? Uh, well, as far as scoring, yeah. So we, we got to move the ball better. We have a tendency to hold the ball or over dribble, and we're at, we're struggling with that. We're not taking good shots, and we're continuing to take shots farther and farther out away from the basket instead of stepping in and taking threes where we should be taking them. You're going to need a strong second half, Coach. What is it going to take to really execute here in the second half? Uh, definitely hustle. we got to play a lot harder right now, and we got to continue to cut down the turnovers. We have way too many turnovers in that first half, so that's kind of what we're shooting for. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck in the second half. Back to you, Coach I. All right, great. Great job, Connor. Great job, Coach Kyle Yonagas. The uh, Without a doubt, what I saw in the first half is uh, 
Coalinga has played a 2-3 zone the entire game. They're playing a, a soft, soft 2-2-1 press, so the press is absolutely not doing anything as far as causing any problems. Not whether they'll change that this half, I don't know, but fireball adjustments I think would have to be you know, maybe penetrate a little bit, but under control. It looks like when their guards penetrate, they've made up their mind that they're going to make something happen, and when you're going against the zone, usually you run into two, sometimes three defenders, so they can swing that ball a little bit more and hit those gaps under control. They look like they really understand the passing part of the game, but the guards aren't quite penetrating and kicking like they're doing when they throw the ball into the high post. On the flip side, Fireball just needs to handle the rock a little bit better. They jumped out to a 13-5 lead, and then near the end of that first quarter, they had five straight turnovers, allowing Fireball to get back into the ball game. So it's going to be a good one. Uh, both teams playing a tad bit sloppy at this time, but it's a big ball game. See if they can't settle down, especially after the halftime talks from their head coaches. Head coach Kyle Yanagas, assistant coach Omar Tiscanano, Tiscanano for uh, Fireball, head coach Jason McFarland, assistant coach Joshua Harrington for Koalinga. <coughs> this will be Koalinga's ball out of bounds. Straight man-to-man. -man. There's a steal. That would be a good way to start the half. And he scores. It's took it from him. Another turnover. Koalinga cannot afford to do that. <coughs> Nearly stolen. And it is stolen. There's going to be a timeout after this one. Well, the coach isn't let him go with it. Two straight steals. Two straight layups. Good hustle, three straight turnovers. There's the timeout coming. Nope, I'm sorry coach, I don't mean to be second guessing you. Wow, what the start of the half. Okay, that's why the coach didn't call timeout because he knew they'd come down and get a three from Damian Orochin to put him back up by two. Good job by the middleman of that press. Can't say enough. Gustava. Gustava does a really good job of catching that ball and then just swinging it. There's that high post again. He should turn and look. There's the off wing. He's wide open. There you go. He left that hand up in the air plenty long. George Barrera. For the three, fireball by one. Baseline drive. Yeah, he fell. He fell. I don't know if he, it looks like he got hurt too. I don't know if he's if he jammed his ankle. Here comes the three-pointer. Going to kick it in. There it is, the off wing. Just like a point guard penetrating. You feed the ball the high post, and the high post feed off wing. Comes one of their stronger players and a better passer, too. We'll see what happened. He jammed his ankle or something when he stepped over there. It looked like he was going to try to take a charge. And then he fell down. That's Gustava. Gustada. And uh, trainers over there talk to him. He's trying to walk it off a little bit. <coughs> so we're going to get two free throws by Chris Benitez. As this ball game has got tight in a hurry. Kolinga came out, turned the ball over three straight times. Fireball capitalized to take the lead, and now it's been back and forth since that point. Benitez gets a chance to make two free throws to put Kolinga back up, and he cashes in both of them. It's just a soft pressure. Nobody's really trapping. Just trying to see if Fireball does something that's not, not real intent. There's your job. There's the skip. One or two dribbles and then pass it. That's how you do it right there. That's to the right. It's a little missed. Good job at a post, man. We call that a probe dribble where you take one or two controlled dribbles and when you draw two or three defenders, you go ahead and kick it. So... Moses Ayaya did a great job. 
not able to capitalize on the fast break. Tough break for Cole Inger. He let that one fly in a hurry. Goodness gracious sakes alive, Emmanuel Alaniz. You must know that one's going to go in. You let that baby fly quick, and you let it fly deep. Crucial part of the ball game here. We're only two minutes in, and it just looks like fireball has come to life. Down five at the half. Now they're up two. We're going to get a foul call down in this post. Oh, a little fadeaway. Not able to get it. A little pushing and shoving going on the post. That's what you're supposed to do when your big, strong guys down there battle a little bit. The Gutierrez in there battling. Uh-oh. Turnover on the out-of-bounds play. Gutierrez on the steal, and it's stolen back. A lot of the drives to the basket are being missed. I hate to use the word layup because they're not really, when people hear the word layup, they think, well, that's that little drill where you go in there and you shoot and there's nobody around. But most of these ones that are being missed are contested. They're going fast. They're different angles. That's why those layup drills take a little bit more serious by some of you young players out there listening. When you do a layup drill, challenge yourself, maybe to change your hand or step a little bit right or left. Don't just go in there and shoot the perfect 45-degree angle layup. You don't get many of those in a game. Triple team, good job. If he can kick that ball off wing, he's going to make him pay the price. Cole Ling is doing a nice job, but there it is. There it is. Really collapsing on that high postman against that zone. Comes the staggered screen for the shooter. Oh, it's a power play right there. Nice job. Swung the ball, threw it in the post. Postman all by himself. Power layup. Nice play. Good execution by the Koalinga Toads. High post. Got to turn and look if you can. Got to turn and look. Took the one dribble. There's the, there's the penetration and the kick. Oh, he got lucky on that one. Tried to go behind his back and roll down his leg. He drove in there hard. Got knocked down. I actually like the no call. A little bit out of control. Defender was standing there. Hip, hit, hip. Hip, hit, hit. And down he went. And no call. There's where we're talking about those layups. You know, you call that a layup, but there was three defenders around him. But triple team. They're going to pay the price for triple teaming them. They shouldn't triple team. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Emmanuel Alaniz on the long three, got his own rebound, went to the left side, hung in the air, and made the layup. A little bit out of control. He's going to try to go coast to coast. Nobody stops him. If nobody's going to stop you, Miguel Cortez, go ahead and go coast to coast. Long three. And it's going to be an and one. Nice tip. Frankie Munoz, Munoz on the tip. Should be bucket good and one. He's saying two, but the bucket went in. They've got to change it and give him the basket. He says no basket. How are you going to get two and have no basket? Help me out here, ref. How are you going to get two and you're not going to count the basket? He's in the... Oh, my goodness gracious. I do not want to second guess the referees much, but I am on this one. The rule is if you're shooting the ball... If you're shooting the ball, you get two shots. So if you get a tip, uh, they're over there. The head coach is laughing with the referee. That's all you can do sometimes. But my 40 years experience of college coaching says if the guy makes the tip, 
He gets the bucket and gets and one. A steal from behind, but it goes right to the Toads. Long shot. Good position on the rebound. Ted is doing a nice job of posting up down in there, rebounding after the uh, injury to the starting post, man. A little bit low. He's able to grab it. Should be numbers here for Coling. Yeah, good foul. Good foul. Saved the fast break layup. Gustava. Gustata over on the sideline. Still walking around like he's trying to walk off something. I think he jammed his, jammed his foot or ankle or something when he tried to take that charge. Gutierrez did a good job of subbing for him. Gutierrez is out for a rest right now. Staying on that one side of the floor. Easier to defend. You got to swing that ball. There they spread him out. Tell you what, that young man is active on the board. You got to get a body on him. Jeremy Casampula will go for the board. Does not accept being boxed out. That's what you have to do to be a good rebounder. Go after everyone. Never accept being boxed out. Frankie Munoz playing the high post now for a fireball. Let's see what he does when he catches the ball. They're running a special play. They're doing a ball pick. Whoa, what a play. I tell you what, they knew what they were doing there. Emmanuel and Ease for a three in the corner. And they're starting to open up a lead. He fell down. He didn't wait for the charge. You got to let the guy hit you. Not real sure. That's about the second or third guy I've seen do that. Pass too low. Turnover by the Eagles. Okay, here comes a little special play. See him run over there in that corner? Boom! He has a nice shot. Dribbler occupied the wing on that side of the zone. Allowed the defender, to, uh, the offense player to run behind the zone to get open for the three. Into the post. That's going to be a foul. Oh, they gave him a jump. Oh, you got the benefit of doubt on that one. Normally, normally they call verticality. No, now watch this. He's going to break the vertical. This is going to be a foul. See, not even a question. Not even a question according to the high school rules. But that's okay. It'll even out. There's a jump. So they'll get the next jump. Spin. Oh, off the leg. Good hustle, but not able to control it. Moses Ayaya. Ayala. Tried to do a spin move, then hustled for the. Now, Cole Linga does the same thing every time on that pressure, which they break the forward up, the off forward up, and, and release the pressure. Can't pass the ball when someone's in your passing lane. Axel Gabriel can't do that. When there's a guy in your pass lane, it's too easy to deflect it, but it went out of bounds, at least it was not stolen. They're going to try to go high low. Oh, they gave him position. They've ran that play three times, and they've scored on it twice. When I say they, that is Koalinga. A steal! A bucket! Koalinga answers the call. Long cross-court pass. There's a penetrating in the kick. Oh, you know this guy's going to let it fly. Steal. Stolen back. Six seconds. Is he going to go all the way? Oh, three at the buzzer. It's no good. And that's the end of the third quarter. 39 to 38. I tell you what, this is going to go down to the wire. Hold on to your seats. Hold on to your hats.
Tell me where, where. You know who's better, who, but who's better, who's better. But honestly, you know the base better. Uh, <laughs> you know we got more dogs on our side. We're ready for the fourth quarter. As Fireball chopped four points off that lead. It's a one-point game now with Coling in the lead. Oh, he traveled. No Rick. No call by the ref. Didn't get his foot down. Toad's applying a little bit more pressure this half on the Eagles. So they've gotten a few turnovers. He's going to let that one fly. Pump fake, kick out. No, there he is. There's a nice power move. Nice power move. Great pass into the low post. You see it on the replay. Here comes the shot. A little one dribble. Feet under him. Giving the three-point lead to Koalinga. Down at this end. Got the ball into the low post. He did a power dribble. Went up with a power layup and drew the foul. Here comes the pass. There's a the fake. There it is. Big power dribble. Goes up. Blocked from behind. The referee called the verticality. Not able to capitalize on the first one. It's Moses Ayala. Ayala. At the line. Makes the second one. All right, let's see what's going to be the key to this ball game. Now, I'm going to think it's going to be handling the ball and making the open shots. That guy in the middle gets it. Yeah, he's got a nice little shot. Not able to get that one. Let's see if they make this layup. They got a fast break opportunity. He makes a nice little crossover move. That's what we talked about, just being able to execute and make those layups. He's got him posted up deep. Power dribble, not able to get it. Good scramble and double team by the Fireball Eagles to double that post, man, because he had the ball deep. Uh-oh. Coalinga definitely getting more rebounds. They're bigger and stronger at the boards between Peter Chaparina. I mean, uh, Doug Smith. That's Doug Smith in there. And then Jeremy Casapula. Another three. is going to have to go off the glass if it's going to go, but it's not able to execute. We've got the numbers here. Like I said, whoever's going to be able to make those little short in shots. Cole has had a couple opportunities, but has not been able to cash in on them. Here comes the second one. Damian Rochin makes it. And he's being subbed out for a second. Coming in for him is Edwin Ortiz. See, now they're playing a little bit more pressure. Trapping it half court. Fireball's living by the three-pointer. My goodness gracious, that baby was long. Long shot, long rebound. Get in there and penetrate. There it is. There it is. You penetrate and kick. 
Mix it up a little bit. Don't. Oh, that's going to be a turnover. Oh, yeah. We got the three we want now. There it is. No good. Long rebound. Couldn't quite hang on to it. Nice attempt. And we're at 43 all. With 5.20 to go. What a ball game. All right. The crowd's getting into it now. Deflected. Who wants it? There's the charge. He waited for the contact that time. Last couple times, fireball started to take a charge. They've fallen down before they got hit. That young man did it the way you're supposed to do it. Nice job, Frankie Munoz. Watch Frankie set up, take the hit, and go down. Big turnover, big charge taken by Frankie. There's the penetration. There's the kick. Uh-oh. There it is. He reached down. Got away with it. The refs are letting him. Oh, my goodness. That's too many turnovers. Too many turns. You have to locate the other jersey. If you see another jersey in the area, don't throw it. Both teams are a little bit guilty of that. Now, he comes to pass on watch. He doesn't need to see the white jersey. The white jersey just steps in. He's got to see that white jersey. You look for the defender when you make those passes. You don't look for a teammate. Your peripheral vision will see your teammate. One of the biggest adjustments I noticed in my 40 years of being a college coach is the passing, the recognition of reading the defense. A lot of really, really good players come out of high school and will make some of those uncaused turnovers as far as we're concerned as far as I'm concerned, because they don't read the defense well enough. Nice pivot. He sets up. He lets it go. We got four minutes to go, and it is a tie ball game. Let's see who's going to execute. Who's going to step up and just do the right thing? There's a drive to the bucket. 15-foot jumper. Jeremy Casapula hits the shot. And there's a timeout called by Fireball Eagles. Head coach Kyle Yangos, Yanogos calls a timeout to talk to his guys. There's the penetrate. There's the free throw jumper. Straight away, and it's good. So that's a Tie ball, or I'm sorry, that puts the Koalinga Toads up by two with just under four minutes to go. 3.44 to go in the ball game. And the Fireball Eagles have pretty much been living by the three-pointer. Or if they get a steal, they get a layup. One of the last buckets they scored was a penetration and a dish. So, I mean, they, they do a good job of passing. I don't know if they're quite some of these guys. A couple of them look like they're pretty young. May not quite have the strength to do that skip pass. Let's, let's go right to one of our sponsors now. I'm sorry. 940 AM ESPN Radio. Tune in to 940 AM ESPN Radio for all your sports news and action. Good hustle. That'll be Koalinga's ball. I'm sorry. Fireball, the home team's ball. We're going to call another timeout. I think Coach wanted to have a run of play, and they didn't quite do what he wanted, so he's going to call a timeout and talk to him again. It'll be on the side. 23 seconds to go on the shot clock. Don't forget, 9.40 a.m. ESPN Radio. Listen in for sports action. Very quick timeout. Coach has quite a few of them left. He's saving his full timeouts when he needs to. Should be 4.30s and two fulls. The Valley's local sports leader is our ESPN Radio, 9.40 a.m. The Valley leader in sports radio. Here we go. Oh, yes. Nice play. Bounce, bounce, and it goes in. <laughs> great job. Great job by Coach Kyle Yanagas as he calls timeout, and they get a bucket, and it's tied up. Block. Nice try. There it goes. He sneaks in behind the zone. 
And he cashes in it. We're going to have two free throws by Luis Castro. Luis Castro definitely attacks the rim. We get a chance here to see what his free throw looks like. It looks pretty doggone good as he has nothing but net. Home crowd getting into it, doing that stomp on the bleachers. That's what it's all about. You get your money, you get your money's worth in here. Let them know. Nothing but net, though. You don't want to foul that guy. 3.20 to go. Two-point lead by the host team. Long three. Long pass. Going to get stolen. No, he stole it back. You got to go get that ball. Like a defensive back, he just stood there and waited for it to come to him, and the Coalinga player broke hard in front of him and caught it. Steal! You know what? It looked a little weird. I don't know if he traveled or not. When he lost his, when he lost the dribble, he tried to pass it, but the referee called travel. If it looks weird, they're going to call it. Here comes the steal. And he bobbled it. I don't know if it should have been called a travel or not, but again, if you do something weird like that on your ball handling, you can't be mad at the referee. I guess you could be if you're the home team, but... Big possession here. Off balance. Oh, in and out. All right, let's see what they do now. Good job. Down on the baseline. Drawing the foul. With six fouls on both teams now. The next one should be a one and a bonus. There's the baseline pass. He's working behind the zone. Watch him. He gets open behind the zone. And there's his power layup. He's got two free throws. Got a chance to tie this ball game up. It was online, but a little bit short. Got quite enough arch on. You got to reach up a little bit higher. He's practicing right now, putting that elbow above his eyes. Let's see if his elbow ends up above his eyes on this shot. If it is, he'll go in. Elbows above the eyes. And it goes in. All right. We're going to get down to where the crowd gets into it. Errant shot taken by the Koalinga in their orange uniforms. Great hustle by both teams. You don't want to foul that guy. A lot of time. Don't foul that guy. He steals it. Wise decision. He's going to pick it up. Coach calls time. I do a full one on this one. He's going to do a full tonight. He's going to talk to his fellas. Minute 45 to go. One point game. Fireball's ball. It'll be on the side. With a minute 45 to go. As far as I can tell, both teams should be in the bonus. That would be a one-and-one one on any common foul. A one-and-one one on any common foul. Obviously, if it's a shooting foul, it would be two. Don't forget, booking info, if you're interested in NorCal Sports TV, we'll cover your event. It's right there on your screen. Dion at NorCalSportsTV.com or 888-350-4070. NorCal Sports, your leader in Northern California high school and community college sports. On the side, now they've been doing it. This is where you do your special plays. You do some type of a counter. They're going in what I would refer to as a box set. I think they're going to bring 34 up off a of screen. Now they just got it in. They didn't do anything special. That's okay. Sometimes you save it for those, like, last seconds or whatever to go. Uh, Cole the zone's a little bit extended. The guards could penetrate it if they want. There's the penetration right there. Oh, there's no... Oh, he's got to shoot it. 
Fakes it in and draws the foul. Three seconds on the shot clock. Last drive was on the baseline. He tried to draw the foul and shot it up his near ball. Then he gets kicked out. Fireman is good. Here's the fake and here's the drive. Here's the shot missed. They come up with the loose ball and they get the two shot foul. And he ties it. That's what you're supposed to do. You get to that line and you make those free throws. Michael Sandoval. The chance to put his Eagles up by one. It, it, boom, bump, 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 bounced around. Left, right, left, right, bang, and it went in. Sandoval made the pressure free throws. Now, you don't want to foul this guy. Getting the rebounds, the key now for Fireball. Colinga wants to try to draw a foul. Uh-oh, that's too deep. Calls it on the floor, but it should be a one-and-one. One. Yeah, he was in the paint. That's actually a pretty good foul because I don't think he was going to miss that shot. Now watch how wide open he is in the paint. He lets him step in front of him. They call him for a hip. It's a one-and-one. One. Everybody box out. Got to box out the shooter. Let's see if they box out the shooter. We got our under basket view on NorCal Sports. And he hits it. Let me tell you what. That was nothing but the bottom of the net for Jeremy Casampula. It's a tie ball game. We may as well say a minute. 59.6. Nothing but net on both of them. Sub in. Now, I don't know if Casapula is in foul trouble or what, but they're taking him out. I wouldn't leave him out very long unless he's got four fouls. He can make the free throws, plus he's a rebounder. Obviously, the coach knows his team better than I do. I'm just talking like a fan or a commentator. All right, coach calls timeout now. He's going to take probably a, it looks like he's doing a 30-second timeout. He's going to save his full. No, he calls a full. So now's the time to do something special. They did a, they did a little play last time. Are we going to go to uh, NorCal Sports? Let's go ahead and do a word from NorCal Sports. You know who's better, but who, who's better, who's better. But honestly, you know the base better. Uh, <laughs> you know we got more dogs on our side. All right, we're back live. Now, last time, what Firebutt did is they, they, they did a little post exchange, and they slid one postman up to occupy the middle man of the zone. The other guy broke in behind him. Let's see if they do that again. Well, this mishandled on the side. Now they got to get it back. They got to get it back. It's 39.8 to go. The shot clock is still a factor, but at high school, it's probably not a huge factor because they don't really have the strength to do the things you see in the college and the NBA. Uh, coach is going to call timeout. Cole Inga, Jason McFarley calls a timeout. He's going to talk to his guys, explain all the scenarios. Both teams are in a one-and-one. One. We get a chance to see... Well, I'm not sure if we're tuned in on those cheerleaders on the bench. Tell you what, these cheerleaders are good. You got the music rocking, though. They do a real short cheer, a little routine, which most high schools do because you don't know whether it's a 30. It is a 30, so it's a great job. The Eagles cheerleaders doing a great job. They're big red bows in their hair and their red and blue outfits. First class outfit. Bringing the, making this even a more exciting ball game than it already is to have the music, 
and the dance squad, the cheerleaders, the pep squad, whatever title they have. They have different titles at different levels. I'm old school. I call them cheerleaders, but they have pep squads, cheer squads. Irregardless of that, let's get back to the ball game. It's 49-48. to 48. Cole Ling in a one-point lead trying to tie with Fireball for first place in the West Sierra League. Oh, they didn't like what they saw. Now, it's interesting. See, in college, when you do that, you call the timeout, but you still have to get the ball over within a certain amount of time. In high school, I think they get a fresh 10. There's our cheerleaders. You see them out there. Great job. Got the young man in the middle and the ladies. Looks like those Christmas bows are on one of my reefs. Those red bows look like my Christmas bows. Great job. Eagles. Cheerleading squad. Pep squad. All right, here we go. 25 seconds on the shot clock. They try to get the ball into Jeremy Casapula because they know he's a good free throw shooter. And they got fouled who they wanted. They definitely wanted to get the ball in his hand because he drained the last two free throws. He dribbled hard and did a really nice jump stop into a triple team and got fouled. So it's a one and one. Only one Coalinga player in at the free throw lane. So if he misses, Fireball should be able to get it. It looks like it's going to be off. And they do get the ball. The coach is going to let him go now. Tried to do the old jerk to head and draw the foul. Referee didn't bite. Mario Alvarez on the drive and, and coaches. Well, you know what? I was going to let him go, but now I'm just going to call timeout. It's one of those things as a coach, do you let him just go with the flow? Well, if it's a fast break, yes, but they were definitely going to get their defense set up. So good job by Kyle Yanagos as he calls a timeout. And again, he's got a chance to diagram a play. They haven't really done anything special. It's hard sometimes to do something against a 2-3 zone. Uh, sometimes you can do what we call a block-to-block -block screen where you send a guy along the baseline. You send your shooter to the baseline, and then you have your, your postman on that right block, probably to be the right block, steps in the middle and screens the middleman of a 2-3 zone to free up the other post player. They did a version of that. Fireball did a version of that earlier when he came down from the high post and got a wide open layup and an attempt at an and one. So we'll see when they come out. Let's take a look. You've got it on your screen. It's going to be on the side. Take a look at the alignment. 30 is going to throw the ball in. 15's on the left block. They get the ball to 34. They want him to have it. There's going to be a flare. It doesn't work. And he lets one go from deep. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. That was not from downtown. That was from Fresno. He shot that from Fresno. And he made the three, 51 to 49. Now, it's going to be calling his ball out of bounds. A lot of scenarios here, a lot of scenarios. All the two can do is put you into overtime. I don't think Cole, uh, Cole Linga has a dead eye three point shooter. The crowds are into it now. And here comes their play. And it's no good. And that's probably going to be it, folks. That's probably going to be it. As that shot was from Fresno, California. That wasn't even from Madera. It wasn't from Dos Palos. It wasn't from Los Manos. That shot was taken from Fresno. And he did nothing but net. Ice in his veins. Bang. Didn't hit the rim. 
Yeah, we got him excited now. They're standing up in front of us. They're really them Bacons if he misses it because they're going to have to go a long ways. He makes one. Now, when I said it doesn't make any difference, this one will basically ice it. The only thing that could happen now would be some kind of crazy technical. I've seen all sorts of things happen in my 40 years of college coaching, but I don't think this one's going to. And he puts them both down. Koalinga is shell-shocked. What happened? What happened? Fireball! Fireball on a three-pointer. Wins the ball game. Advances to 16-4 and four overall and 6-0 and oh in league. And here it comes, folks. Here's the replay. You can't even hardly see him. He lets it go. And nothing but the bottom of the net. And I do believe that. I mean, it shot so quick, I'm quite sure it was Emmanuel. Yes or no? We have to run that one again. It was Emmanuel Alaniz. Emmanuel Alaniz on the three, and we're going to have our straight sport part of the game, and uh, I'm assuming we're going to get a hold of Emmanuel Alaniz. I mean, after a shot like that, that's the only shot he made we should have in the player of the game. NorCal Sports bringing you all the excitement of college and athletics, college and high school athletics and sporting events. And we're going to have a post-game interview here. Connor is going to get our straight sports player of the game. And he's got, he's got him. He's getting him out there right now. Connor has grabbed him. Emmanuel Alaniz. They'll be talking to him and high-fiving him tomorrow in the cafeteria. Great job, Emmanuel. We'll be going to Connor here as soon as he's ready. And we're going to turn it over to Connor right now. Connor will coming to you live with our straight sports stand-up performer of the game, Emmanuel Lanes. 19 points tonight. You go for the crazy three-point <laughs> shot. Our announcer said it kind of looked like an NBA three-pointer. Take me through that play. Oh, uh, man, I don't know. I was, I was looking for a wipe shot. Coach is telling me, hey, keep shooting. You shoot, through, shoot your way through it. I was missing some beginning wide open ones, but that one was the biggest one in the game right there. We talked to your coach at halftime, and one of the things he mentioned is for order for you to really break out in this game, you need to break that 2-3 offense of Kalinga. What, was that successful for you guys? Well, in the beginning, no. We kind of get mixed up, but at the end, we tried to throw it inside, inside, and we kicked it out. The shots started falling a little more, but on the inside, we got a little more pain right there. Your coach took a timeout within those last 30 seconds of play. Oh, no. Oh, a little water. Got a little wet here. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Well, anyways, getting back to my question right there. What does this win mean to you and your team? 6-0 in league. You take down a tough Kalinga team, and now you guys look at possibly taking the title in the Sierra League. Oh, uh, man, it's big right here. We've dreamed about this since freshman year. Uh, last year we lost it, and we had our hands, but we lost it. But this year we're looking forward to getting it. Looking ahead, how do you plan to take this huge game win into the next one? Oh, we're just trying to keep the, the like, you no, know, the snowball rolling, just rolling, rolling, you're winning and winning, keep going, and just get the 10 and 0 at the end. Thanks, Emmanuel, and best of luck the rest of the season. We look right. forward to seeing how you perform that second half. Right. Back to you, Coach I. Thank you. Great job, Connor. Great job, Emmanuel. And these, great job, Fireball Eagles. What a ball game! Both teams came out ready to play. Koalinga jumped out to an early lead in the first quarter. They had that, that drought we talked about where they had five straight turnovers and allowed Fireball to get back into the ball game. And from that point on, there goes that shot again. Whoosh! From way downtown. But exciting game. After the start of the second half, Fireball came out, scored six straight to take a lead, two steals for layups. And then it was back and forth, back and forth. Nobody got bigger than a three-point lead. And we talked about who was going to be able to execute the shot, who was going to be able to make the, uh, the layups, and, of course, free throws were cashed in, too. Both teams did a really good job of making free throws. It's always good to see the game not decided negatively at the free throw line because that makes it tough on the young man that maybe missed those free throws. So everybody that needed to make their free throws did. So, again, just a really, really, really good ball game. Two good teams, two well-coached teams. Nice excitement, good crowd. NorCal Sports TV, ready, able to cover the game. It was fun for us. And hopefully we'll get a chance maybe to cover another game or two before this season ends in this West Sierra League. So we will get ready to sign off now with 
The Fireball Eagles advancing to 16-4 and overall and 6-0 in the West Sierra League, all alone in first place. The Coalinga Toads dropped to 10-12, and 4-2 and in league. So, again, this is NorCal Sports signing off, and stay tuned and subscribe to us. Thank you very much.